What is up everybody? Welcome to Gistic Tutorials. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to download and install the Tor browser. Let's get into it. Okay, so you want to go to the official Tor project website. Um, the link will be down in the description and you want to click on the download Tor browser and then it will take you to torproject.org slash download. And here you can either download for Windows, uh, Mac, Linux or Android. I'm going to download for Windows, obviously since I'm using Windows, but these are all basically the same apart from Android because it's a bit different. And it shouldn't take too long because it's only 65 megabytes. Um, it'll download a .exe file. Um, this is a safe file. This is the official Tor website. So only download um, the browser from torproject.org. Okay, so after it's finished downloading, just go ahead and click on it. And it's going to go ahead and run the .exe. Um, select your preferred language. Press OK. You can pick where you want the Tor browser folder to install. I'm just going to install it on my desktop. It is 182.6 megabytes, so it doesn't really take up much space at all. Um, so just press install when you're ready. And this shouldn't take too long either. And you've completed the Tor browser setup. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish and run the Tor browser and add a start menu to my desktop. So just press finish if you wanna do that or uncheck those boxes if you do not wanna start it at, at this time. And you can close out of that now. And as you can see, we've now got this. Um, we've now got it on our desktop. You can go ahead and delete this because there is a um, shortcut inside the Tor browser folder. So inside the folder, there is a browser folder. Do not delete any of these files because this is how the application runs. So minimize that. Click configure to adjust network settings if you're in a country that senses Tor, such as Egypt, China, or Turkey or if you're connecting from a private network that requires a proxy. I'm just gonna go ahead and press configure to show you what that looks like. So you just check the box and that's it. If not, just press connect. And you have to do this every time you start the Tor browser, I'm pretty sure. And here we go. It should open up right now after that's finished. And we're now on the Tor browser and you're free to browse the, the clear web or you can go on the deep web by using dot, um, dot onion links. Okay, so to make sure your security is up to par, you need to disable JavaScript, um, especially if you're going on the deep web. This is so it makes it harder for people to attack you because most attacks come through the JavaScript. So you want to click on safest. So you can go through all these settings if you want to. Um, I wouldn't be adding passwords and stuff like that to this. Keep that in Chrome or whatever, or your own password manager. So yeah, just make sure safest is selected. It'll automatically save, so you can exit out of that. And now you can see uh, security level is the safest. And you don't need to worry about clearing your history on Tor because as soon as you close the Tor browser and reopen it again, your history will be deleted. So yeah, that is how you download and install the Tor browser. If this did help you, please hit that like button. And if you're new to my channel, hit that subscribe button as well. And leave a comment down below if you need any more help or you've got any suggestions for future videos. And that is it from everybody. Peace out.